Hello, welcome back to my channel. I thought we could spend the day together because I have the day off and I don't know, it seems like something fun to do. I am currently about to start a sewing project. I am not great at sewing, but I'm not absolutely terrible either. So I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I buy all my fabric from secondhand Goodwill stores for the most part, or the clearance section of craft stores. Every now and then I'll go out and actually pick up something that I like, but for the most part it's all secondhand things so that I don't feel bad when I cut it and or ruin it because this is just a hobby. I don't have to take it seriously. No one's paying me for this, no one's judging me for this. It's literally something that I just do for fun. I made a few things. Um, I made a bag, which was really cute. It was orange on the outside, which I love, and it was floral on the inside. It had pockets. It was amazing. I carried it for about one week. I spilt egg into it. If you're curious how that happened, me too. No, I'm kidding. I stuck a breakfast sandwich into my bag because my hands were full. It wasn't a box, but because of that, the egg spilled out the corner of the box, which I think is offensive, and got all over everything in my purse and my bag. And I wasn't home. I was in Boston. So it was really upsetting. I had to like wash my bag and hair dry it. But because of that, I was excited to come home and wash it and it completely disintegrated in the washer because apparently there's a fancy way that you can sew the edges of something to keep it together. And I didn't do that. I just did a regular stitch. <laughs> Like I said, I have no one teaching me this unless it's on YouTube and I stumble across it on how to do things. I don't know what I'm doing. I am solely winging it. I have made this though, which I love, but it's a sleeve for my Kindle so that I don't lose my pin and I don't have to always have the case on it and then I can chuck it anywhere. And then I made the first prototype because both of these are without patterns. Um, this is the first one, which I just use as a bag now that you can hang on the wall. But um, I don't like it as much. It's bulkier and I think, oh, the top part was weird. I thought it'd be cool to have it turning inside out so you couldn't see the seams and then it made the top too big. This is purely for fun. Let me let the cat out. Here's the strap of this said cute orange bag. Um, I think I might make this into a cloth bookmark since it's already kind of that shape because that could be fun. I've made a casserole carrier, which I love and I'm obsessed with but I made it as a gift and then gave it to somebody. So I need to make more of those because I really like that. It's very useful and they bring it over. I'm always a little jealous because I'm like, dang it, I should have made myself one. And then like the stereotypical, I've made two oven mitts, not oven mitts. Oh my God, I want to make oven mitts. I've made two aprons. But that being said, I want to make kind of like makeup pouch for my purse. I don't necessarily carry makeup with me, but I carry quite a bit of like personal things that I need and I have a bag for them right now but I have this fabric which is actually just a tablecloth from Goodwill and then I have this fabric and then I have this fabric from a hobby store that I'd like to either make I don't know do I want this to be the outside and this to be the lining or vice versa I haven't decided yet but I think they look really good together and I already owned both so I want to do that oh here's the bag that I currently use I got it like five years ago I think from oh we're attacking I got it like five years ago I think from this random store in the mall and I don't really love it. I only got it because I had store credit and I had to, but it's too big and I want the cute little square ones everyone has. So I'm gonna try to make one. But yeah, that is my goal. I'm currently listening to Interesting Facts About Space by Emily Austin. As you can tell, I am 9% through and I'm honestly really enjoying it. It's got the humor that I really love in a fiction book where it's kind of dark and dry and witty. I love that. I love when the characters are kind of, I don't want to say like quirky because I mean anybody can be quirky, but it's like her characteristics are the type of characteristics that I love in a character. It feels relatable to me, just like her thought processes. She's obsessed with space and she talks about it all the time as like her little fun fact she gives out. And she's terrified of bald men, which I think is hilarious. And she's kind of just trying to get through life. She's obsessed with listening to true crime. She has so far has had a podcast on almost the whole time. I think it's her way of dealing with her anxiety by having something that she can control giving her anxiety rather than things that she can't. And she's also just kind of, you know, trying to figure out life. She was dating a woman who she just found out was married and the wife of that woman came over to hang out, which is awkward. She's baking a cake for her sister's reveal party for a sister that she didn't know she had because her dad left when she was younger and then ran off and started a new family without them. So she's just, she's kind of just trying to get through life and figure it out. And I honestly love her already. And I'm only 
9% through the book. So I'm gonna listen to that today. I'm gonna try to make this bag. I'm gonna try so hard and hope it's cute and the right size because I don't know what size I want. I made this one without a pattern and it's flat. So it's really easy to figure out what you want, but I don't want a flat bag. I want a square bag. So I'm gonna use somebody else's like measurements and hope it's the measurements I want. If not, I'll be making a few of these. And then people might just have to deal with the fact that they're getting a square bag for Christmas. So I've already messed up. <laughs> I am now making the small bag and not the medium bag because I'm dyslexic. I'm going to try with the small bag because why not? We already have it cut. And if it's cute or if it needs to be bigger, I'll make the medium bag, which is fine. Because you know what? You live and you learn. They're all short, thin women with small frames and little facial features. Today, Kira is wearing a knee-length cream dress. She has accessorized with little pearl earrings and taupe painted nails. Edna, my other half sister, is wearing a long. F I think the only downside to buying Goodwill fabric is that I have washed this already, but now that it's getting warm, it smells just like Goodwill. Which is fine, it'll air out and it'll be fine soon, but for now, it does still kind of smell like Goodwill. So we've learned a few things. One, I totally could have sewn this closer to the zipper and then I wouldn't have a massive zipper. Two, nothing is even with each other. This green is like so far over to this green because where I had it folded, I guess. I'm not fully sure. I think I'm going to seam rip all of this <laughs> and start over since it's just, I mean, it's really just two stitches and redo what I have because I'm not loving this though I am liking the color the bag is going to be that's going to be so cute but i'm not loving how crooked it is and how big the zipper looks so we're going to redo this okay i lied we are trying again but we are trying with the medium size to see what we think i have just now realized one that my line cutting is decent considering what i'm using which is the rotary but it's also decent considering the fact that I'm an idiot and I keep swapping hands. So half of this is cut with my left hand and the other half is cut with my right hand. Um, why? I'm not really sure. I will say I am a left-handed person. I use like scissors and everything else with my right hand because that's how they teach you in school. And I'm dyslexic and could not figure out how to use my left hand while watching them. Kind of strange when I realized I was doing that, but it's okay. It's you know, working out pretty well. Two more of these and then two more of the dark greens. That is so much more even. Minus, don't look at that. That is so much more even and I cheated this time and I ironed this down so that when I sew this, it hopefully, it will hopefully not roll because I didn't do that with this one and you can see where it bubbled up and now it's ugly, which is why I gave up on this one. Well, it's one of the reasons I gave up on this one. So we ignore that one. Look how pretty this one is. It's my lining, my outer layer, my zipper is now attached. I have to cut these corners out to make it boxy and then sew it back together. And I've watched her video three separate times to make sure she says to cut this because I hate the idea of cutting this being this far in and it being wrong. I'm going to watch the video one more time. This was meant to be an hour long project. I think it's taken me two at this point. In my defense, I did start a first one and then I had to wait on my boyfriend. I cheated to make me a template for the squares because I have to do this eight times. Disaster. I am tired, but I have made a bag and I'm about to turn it right side out and see how bad it possibly looks. I'm kind of scared. Cute! And the zipper works. I think I would make it a little bit smaller if I made this again. It's a little tall for what I want, but I wanted a round zipper. So I don't know how I've done that, if that's like the actual sewing pattern or if I've messed up somewhere and made it round, but I love how wide it opens. So you can actually see into it. So I was really scared when I was sewing this because towards the end, Sorry, I'm just inspecting. Towards the end, when I was like bragging about my little cute template I had, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be so easy. I'll use my template. Um, I used my template, it was great. And then I cut past my template. <laughs> so I was having to draw the other eight squares with this template and then add this to the side of one of the sides to make it 
what I had cut off because I accidentally cut this way into it and so I had to cut this way and over to make it the correct size so I was really scared this was gonna end up really bad I was like imagine this is horrible and then I don't have a bag to show and that's just ugly but no she's actually pretty cute literally just a thrifted tablecloth like that's so perfect okay I'm gonna go fill this and then put this in my bag because it's so cute and then I will come back to that but I'm so happy I'll definitely make more of these book update I am now 31% through the book and I am loving it I don't know what this writing style is called where it's mostly like inner monologue of her own thoughts but she's also kind of once again quirky strange but I love her she feels once again very relatable still at 31% just her fact of like her paranoia that she's having while she's living alone completely relatable I had so much weird I lived alone and I completely understand she is terrified of bald men and they keep showing up in her life so her apartment has a long hallway that they use to come in and out of their apartments and every now and then she catches a glimpse of her neighbor who is a bald man and she's terrified of them so she's actually been busted by one of her other neighbors climbing out of her bedroom window to try to avoid seeing this bald man because she's so terrified of them and in the process of crawling out of the window she fell because she said it was his fault because he witnessed her she would have been fine and it's so hilarious she's like he's on my list along with people who don't like cats and then started naming off all these random things I was like oh my god i love her she's crazy and quirky but like in the best way because having an irrational fear like that that you're just like i'm crawling out my window i'm not dealing with it it's just i love her she's so funny We are on the floor right now because the cat made me. Why do you look dead? Okay, so we are sitting here because he demanded that he gets pets. I would like to state that last video I forgot to film an end clip, so I filmed it the day I was editing the video. This time, I did film an end clip the day of the video, but I filmed it without sound. So, the last three clips of this video didn't have sound, so you're not gonna see them, but they're just mostly me rambling about myself and like life updates, so it's not even that big of a deal. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>